What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a green screen and multi-platform uh, of OBS. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need adequate lighting, make sure you have that. And this is OBS multi-platform, I'm running 12.3 right now. So uh, what you're going to want to do is, first off when you start up OBS it looks like this. Let me uh, widen it out a little bit. So uh, you'll in your sources you're going to have webcam and game capture or whatever else you put in inside of your stuff so you're going to want to come over here to webcam and right click on it and click filters and this is the part right here it's going to show you the green screen part so this is what my green screen looks like without it behind me um i bought this online for like 40 50 dollars somewhere around there it's actually pretty cheap i can link it in the description but uh okay so this is what this looks like and uh, the similarity is what you want to adjust right here. I have to select custom colors because for some odd reason, the lighting in my room, it has everything set up where um, the green's not actually the same color as what's what's behind me. This is actually like a lighter, darker green. So I got to figure out what's going on with that. But I got, it, I got the green screen working itself. So I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on what to do. I cropped myself out. I put a crop in there first, did all that, and I cropped everything um in the sides and all that stuff so you're going to want to load up a chroma key and i'll turn color correction off this is what it looks like without it so first i did the crop second i'll do the chroma key so you want to mess with this right here this is your main thing so if i turn it down like this as you can see it's not doing anything well let me turn it on and what it's going to do is when you turn this up i'm going to keep going and then it'll as it slowly, well, I'll do it this way. I'll do it the slider way. And as you can see, it's starting to take away all this stuff right here. This is all the green screen particles back there. And if you just keep adjusting it, you'll slowly start to see it go away. And then I turn it up until it's at a comfortable level where it sits good in there. I can't seem to get this right here uh, completely cleared, but I think that's about good enough. So we're going to keep going. Okay, so right about... Do you see black? I keep going until I see this black come up on me right here. And sometimes it'll do it on the face. So what I do is I turn it down. And there we go. So right about there, that, that seems about good. And I don't mess with the smoothness or the key color spill reduction. I leave that all the same. I leave all this stuff here the same. And once that's done, I go over and add a color correction filter to it. And then I mess with this stuff here. See, as you can tell, it's a little too bright. What I'll do is I'll turn it turn it up or uh, turn that on and then I'll turn the gamma down I don't mess with brightness or contrast I just mess with the gamma see or the gamma whatever you want to call it um probably turn it up right about there that looks good right about there so that's how you do your uh green screen and you just pretty much put it on top of everything put your background uh well your background would be below it or no your background would be on top and then your webcam would be underneath it if you have anything you want to set like a some kind of background here or something but that's pretty much how you do it so if this helped you out, let me know. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys on the